The force on a 3 kilogram mass varies in time as F of T equals 4T squared I hat plus 4T cubed J hat plus 4T to the fourth K hat. And at T equals 0, the initial velocity of the mass is vector V0 equals minus 3I hat plus 2J hat minus 5K hat meters per second. What is the velocity vector V at T equal 2 seconds? We begin with A equals dV dt equals the force over the mass. Move the differential dt to the right hand side to have dV equals F over m dt. And integrate to get the vector velocity at t equal 2 equals the initial velocity vector plus the integral from t equals 0 to t equal 2 seconds of the force over the mass dt. The single integration of the vector force is equivalent to three integrations for each of the scalar components. Here's the initial velocity vector again. When you integrate 4t squared over 3 from 0 to 2, you get 3.55 i hat. The integration of the y component, 4 thirds t cubed from 0 to 2, gives 5.32 j hat. And the k component, Integration gives 8.51. Adding the i hat components 3.55 minus 3 makes 0.55 i hat. We get plus 7.3 j hat plus 3.5 k hat. The magnitude of this vector velocity is the square root of vx squared plus vy squared plus vz squared equals 8.1 meters per second. Here is a one-dimensional case that requires numerical integration. The time-dependent force, f of t, equals 5t to the 4.3 cosine cubed of 3t squared plus t to the 1.3 acts on a 1 kilogram mass whose velocity at t equals 0 is 0. Question A. What is the velocity at t equal 3? The velocity is found by numerical integration. V at t equal 3 is found by integrating from t equals 0 to 3 dt. And Wolfram gives minus 5.55 meters per second. At what value of t will this force, f of t, be 0? That will occur when the cosine cube factor is 0. Question B. Find the velocity at t equal t1 where T1 is the first non-zero root of the integrand. Scientists and engineers use numerical routines to find roots, or zeros. You already learned about Newton's iterative method for finding roots. Regular falsy is another method. To roughly locate roots, a computer program might step along the axis looking for changes in the sign of either the function or its slope and then these root brackets are passed on to a regular falsy routine. The first non-zero root of the cosine cube factor occurs at t1 equals 0 0.6335 seconds, as numerically found by, for example, Wolfram. For the velocity integration, Wolfram then gives v of t equals t1 equals 0 0.0075 meters per second. This example involves a force that depends on position rather than time. The 320 gram box sits at rest at the origin. A person applies a rightward push, P of x equals 21 x squared newtons, while the leftward frictional force grows as 0.33 x cubed. In the x direction, the net force is f of x equals p of x minus the frictional force equals 21x squared minus 0.33x cubed in newtons. Question A. What is the velocity of the box at x equal 1.2 meters? The net force depends on position, not time, so we convert A equals dv dt equals dv dx dx dt but dx dt is a velocity v, so this pair is v dv dx. Moving the differential to the other side of the equal sign gives a dx equals v dv. Replacing the acceleration a equals force over mass 
and integrating, we get the integral from V0 equals 0 to final velocity V of mv dv equals the integral over x from 0 to 1.2 of 21x squared minus 0.33x cubed dx. The left-hand side integrates to 1 half mv squared, which will be defined to be kinetic energy in the next chapter. Wolfram gives 11.7 for the right-hand side, so we have 1 half mv squared equals 11.7. With m equal 0 0.320 kilogram, we get v equals 8.6 meters per second. Question B, where will the net force be zero? F equals zero equals 21x squared minus 0.33x cubed equals zero at x equals 21 over 0.33 equals 63 meters.